At school, this star was teased for being a theatre geek. These days, the last laugh's on them, as this little girl from a strict Catholic upbringing in Milwaukee has turned out to be one of Hollywood's hottest stars. Heather Graham is certainly known for playing sexy roles, like Roller Girl in Boogie Nights, Felicity Shagwell in Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, and a stripper slash escort in The Hangover. But on top of her innate sexiness, she has a cheeky sense of humour and an ability to tackle intense roles. As a girl, Heather fell in love with movies after seeing Raiders of the Lost Ark and set about becoming an actress. She studied drama at high school and at UCLA, with her mother driving her to auditions. One of her earliest roles was opposite Corey Haim and Corey Feldman in Licence to Drive. But unfortunately, her success created tension with her parents, who were strict Catholics and didn't want her to do any movies that had sex scenes. So, at the age of 18, she packed her bags and moved to Hollywood. Heather's roles often have a dark undertone. However, as an actress, she manages to find light in the subject. In Drugstore Cowboy, she played a doomed drug addict, a performance that saw her nominated for an Independent Spirit Award. She was noticed for her small screen performance in Twin Peaks and her big screen performance in Swingers. But it was her performance as Roller Girl in Boogie Nights that really got her noticed. The movie starred Mark Wahlberg, Burt Reynolds and Julianne Moore, but Heather shone playing a young porn star who roller skated everywhere. It's a moving but also funny and the people are pathetic but yet they also have their dignity and it's very great, it's a very like human story. It's people's life, like since it goes over a period of seven years and you see how different characters go in different directions and you get a sense of just like a person's life and how the choices they make lead them down different paths. And how did Roller Girl get down her path? On roller skates. It was really fun. It kind of made going to work kind of like playing around. And you know, when you had time off, you could roller skate around the parking lot and stuff. And that was good. The roller skates might have been fun, but Heather took the role quite seriously. And as part of her research, she spent time on the set of a real porn film. The success of Boogie Nights, along with her performance, propelled Heather into the spotlight. I thought it was a great script and I, I had a really special feeling about it but I didn't have any idea that it would have kind of like this big effect. In Lost in Space, there wasn't a porn star in sight. For Heather, it was the chance to play a more serious role as Dr Judy Robinson in the big screen adaptation of the TV series alongside William Hurt, Mimi Rogers and Gary Oldman. I watched a little bit of a few episodes, it's really funny, I thought they were kind of like Ed Wood movies, with really lame special effects, but they were cheesy in a great way. Well, as an actor, to work with William Hurt and Gary Oldman is like a dream come true. Next, Heather showed us her comic skill and those hot pants in Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Heather Graham plays Felicity Shagwell, who is a CIA agent in the 60s, assigned to Austin when he goes back to get his mojo. And um, Austin is partnered with her, and um, she's a very sexy, together, woman's liber, liberated woman who, uh, who helps Austin get his mojo back. My first day of work was the Carnaby Street dance scene, and I was like, oh, you know, oh my god, I'm working on this movie, and I was all nervous, and it was just fun to just be doing these goofy dances with Mike, and to Burt Bacharach and Elvis Costello were playing this music, and it seemed really cool. Lenny Kravitz's cover of American Woman was also featured in the movie, and Heather starred in the film clip as the American Woman. Working on an Austin Powers film was a lot of fun, but as Heather discovered, there's a little more to it than the laughs. Well, I think it's really fun, and I think his character's really lovable, and I think even though it's full of jokes and funny things, and it's really entertaining, I think it has heart too. And um, I think that's what I like about it. It's got a lot of heart. Heather's next big role was opposite Steve Martin and Eddie Murphy in Bowfinger, playing a struggling actress who tries to sleep her way to the top. The theme of sex comes up in a lot of Heather's movies. She's often said she finds sex funny and loves dirty or unsavoury jokes. Perhaps that's why she decided to work with the Farrelly brothers in Say It Isn't So, a love story in which the boy and girl end up discovering they're related. I think it's fun because I get to do some kind of, uh, you know, silly, crazy things in this movie, which is good. And um, I like the whole Farley brothers sense of humour. Why? Because it's sad and sick and twisted and gross. <laughs> Clearly, Heather's not afraid to step outside her comfort zone. 
Or perhaps it's just a case of nothing makes her feel uncomfortable. In From Hell, she took on a more dramatic role as the prostitute Mary Kelly, who's on the run from Jack the Ripper. For the role, she had to learn an English accent. It was pretty hard. It was kind of intimidating, but I had a great time with this great dialect coach, and we hung out a lot, and I, I wrote out all my lines phonetically. Heather continued to choose sexy roles. In Killing Me Softly, she played a young woman who ditches her boyfriend and begins a kinky affair with a mysterious young man, played by Joseph Fine. I really was the most interested in doing this movie because of the director, Chang Kaiga, and uh, his vision about it sort of being about, you know, male-female relationships or, you know, any kind of um, intimate relationship and sort of trust and, and about when you fall in love with someone and um, you're with them and then you wake up and, and then you think, who is this person, you know, that I've fallen in love with and sort of the paranoia you can have about the person that you're in love with. It's been just sheer joy working with her and it's so important to get that aspect right. Um, for me, that boils down to, to her brilliance and, and Kaiga's um, casting and being able to get the dynamics or chemistries, if you like, right. And um, she's just a joy to work with and, and incredibly uh, generous and a great sort of sparring partner within a scene. After an eight episode stint on the TV series Scrubs, Heather landed her own sitcom, Emily's Reasons Why Not. The show was a flop, being cancelled after only one episode was aired. So she went back to film, and in 2009, she starred in one of the most popular movies of the year, The Hangover. In the movie, I get married to Heather Graham, who plays Jade, hooker with a heart of gold, and she is, how can I say, so hot. Oh my God. I got to make out with her. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Um, she's also like the chillest, coolest chick. It was so easy to have her around and hang out. She was just like one of the guys. And, uh, and I think she's hilarious in the movie too. I don't know, she's so silly. I think it's great. I personally love watching like really silly things like this. And luckily Heather already had all the skills required for her character's job. Well, I didn't really have to pole dance in the movie, but I had already taken these pole dancing classes, so I felt like kind of like a method actress that I'm playing a stripper and I know how to pole dance. So I, and I went back and took more classes once I got the job. In The Hangover, Heather plays the mother of a young child, and of course they had to use real babies in the scene. Now, imagine you were a parent of one of the babies and you saw this. Well, babies can only work two hours, you know, because there's these labor laws, so um, they would switch them out. And four of them were super sweet, and two were like really evil devil babies, and they would just cry really hard, and so we would all hope that we would finish the day before they brought the, the mean ones on. Mean, evil, devil babies aside, Heather loves her work, but more important to her is what it does for others. I feel like just so incredibly just uh, rewarded by the thought of people uh, just watching your work and getting something out of it. And it makes me feel really just incredibly grateful that I could do something that would affect people. If that's the upside, is there any downside? I guess it makes you a little more self-conscious and neurotic about <laughs> it. But I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an alright price to pay to be able to do what I want to do. So, when she's not on the film set, strutting the red carpet or on a photo shoot, what does Heather Graham get up to? Um, well, I like hanging out with my friends, like some of them are here tonight, like that's really relaxing and um, I like cooking, like I, I like making dinner, dinner parties and uh, playing cards and doing yoga right. and one of them is really great yoga retreat this year and um, dancing. She's a gutsy performer who's not afraid to push the envelope. In fact, you kind of get the feeling that Heather Graham likes going that little bit further than audiences think she's going to. She's been bringing sizzle to the screen for more than 20 years, and she's got a sexiness with a sense of humour to boot, which means she's a Star Picks favourite. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better on screen and at mnc.tv.